Lyon d'ouvrir le score. All those places that I've been that I've played for I definitely bring that back over here so this is where I find my joy in Sierra Leone and again this is the longest I've been here what six months been to the US twice and I've I'm at peace you know not saying I'm staying but it's so much better It's one of those where, again, I'm surprised to not be playing right now. I never thought I'll be, you know, a free agent for this long. Obviously, I wanted to play until about 40. But the way things have been so slow, I, almost every other day I wake up and thinking, no, I'm, I'm about to hang it up. Really, it's so weird to not feel like in the driver's seat, which that's where I felt like I was going to be this year. I felt like I'm at the end of my contract. I'm going to be a free agent. I get to decide where we go, me and my family, and call that place home for two years or maybe three, and then live our lives now and move forward. And then it took a turn to not having anything. I'm just looking at my phone every day to see what text message is coming in to knowing what's about to happen. So I decided to start coming back to Sierra Leone in 2006. And when I did, um, it was it's amazing actually, because now I'm playing the MLS and now I want to come you know, to Sierra Leone. And then they said, oh, in Sierra Leone, for people to really respect you, you have to play in the streets and get street cred. That's the only way they respect your soccer because they weren't seeing MLS. Right. So I played in all these fields. I remember bringing the new Adidas boots, like tunics and all that. and. After a game, it would just whoosh, everything under gone because those shoes, shoes don't last. It's all the red dirt. Yeah. yeah, but I just remember those times. And then throughout that year, 06, 07, my name started just going around. And then 08, now they're like, okay, we might call you. And then at the same time, I remember Ziggy Schmidt pulling me to the corner and saying, hey, Bob Bradley's thinking about you for the Olympic, you know, US team. So here I was like debating both options, whether or not I can stay in the US and play. I'll come Sierra Leone. I decided to come, obviously, because I was like, okay, I can get closer to my family in Africa if I if I go, because I'll have more chances to go back home. But if I stay here, you know, I might never get a chance to be able to go back home. So that's why I decided to start playing for Sierra Leone. I went to America and I was able to go through a, an educational system before I played soccer. So I have so much, you know, experience of, you know, whether it's high school, college, not just uh, not just soccer, but sports and school together. 
So that's what my legacy I'm trying to pass on along to most of these guys because everybody's dropping out, just wants to become a professional soccer player. But I'm trying to encourage guys to say, let's do education and sports together. And obviously that's what Heart Shape Hands, my foundation does out here. It's really trying to say, you know, our, our career later is going to be so much longer. How can we, you know, do more school? We do school and still play sports. The movement is yeah, it's it's huge and everything and everyone coming back now into the motherland and trying to find themselves and this and that. Even myself, I've brought back um, at least six of the brothers that left Sierra Leone or were born in America that never been to Sierra Leone. I've influenced them to come to Sierra Leone and now they're a regular in Sierra Leone. And that's a joy to me. Like I say again, Augustine Williams is one of them coming to play for Sierra Leone. Um, Mustafa Dumbuya, you know, played uh, at Phoenix and, you know, playing in England. And some of these other young boys that I can keep influencing. And I, I message them on IG and say, hey, you consider coming to play for the country? You guys are going to be the next thing, you know, those things. So when those guys come in, I feel so proud that I'm around them to say, hey, man, some good's coming for you. If we play it on the 14, which will be decided tomorrow. If we win, uh, we go up, Benin go out. But if we draw or, you know, Benin wins, obviously they go in. And all the games have been decided already. We're the only teams that haven't been decided. Mm. Everybody else is, you know, either qualified or not qualified. And here's a game that's been decided now. And if we can play this game, it's win and we qualify at 36 years old and, you know, playing for my country for this long disqualification though Sierra Leone hasn't been in the in the Af Afghan since 96 disqualification will just not just you know be a cap to my career but one you know memorable to you know a lifetime this is the biggest game or time that will ever be Tell you guys, <laughs> so I this thing is different out here, man. 